OsteoGuard with added calcium and magnesium. When the weather gets warmer, that starts to give that annoying creak. She's a 20 year old car, you gotta respect your elders. Her joints are wearing out. And there you go, look, it's starting to come out the other side now, so I know that that's full. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on. Pretty annoying, huh? And likewise, on the inside, have a listen to how this sounds. Can't hear it as much, but it's there. Oh, it sounds awful. So in a nutshell, I know exactly what it is. It's the ball joint that sits right underneath the suspension. And to get to it, it's a real ball ache, no pun intended. Um, it tends to happen when the weather gets warmer, sometimes when it's been a long dry period. But the solution that I've found that I probably have to do maybe once a year is give it a little squirt with a syringe like this. So, secret weapon. OsteoGuard with added calcium and magnesium with vitamins D and K. This is what you want. No, it's not. It's what's inside. I just store a little syringe. Like this. And I make up a little solution. So what I like to do is get any oil will do, but make sure it's not too thick. And then I lube it down, I water it down a little bit with some WD-40 so that it's not too thick. You want it almost like the consistency of water. So you can see the consistency there is not too thick. It's got enough, otherwise it's not gonna get through the syringe. There we go. We've got five mLs worth of oil there. Put the syringe on and squirt it into your worn squeaky joint on your car like this. As that ball joint starts to move, listen to the noise. She's an old girl. Joints are wearing out. Okay. So here we go. This is the joint in question. When I've got under the car on the ramp and I've moved this around, there's not actually any play in that joint, but it's it's getting a bit old. And to undo this here, it's a bit of a, a bit of a pain, as I said, a bit of a ball ache, excuse the pun. You can just about see there, there's a white mark. And I used a white marker pen so that I can basically <laughs> inject it in the same place all the time. So all I do, here's my little syringe, okay? It's quite hard to push the oil out because I could do with a bigger um, syringe needle but never mind it's all I have so if you try and get it in the right same hole all the time squirt it in and then just inject this lovely lubrication into that joint and there you go look it's starting to come out the other side now so I know that's full try and get it from different directions so that it's gonna be really getting in there. And that's really about it. I've got oil coming out now, but there's definitely oil in there. When the weather gets warmer, that starts to give that annoying creak. It took me ages to work it out. I was spraying every single joint. I thought it was coming from the suspension because as I was jacking the car up, it would be incrementally getting uh, creaking when I, with every single pump. But it was actually just that joint. Um, as I said, in the UK, we have something called an MOT. It's passed. There's no movement in that joint. It's just a bit dry. And after all, she's a 20 year old car. You got to respect your elders. And her hips are getting a little bit sore. Her joints are wearing out. So. Nice little lubrication in there. That'll be good for another another year, hopefully. So there you go, five in the job. This year she creaks anymore. So it was better, but the creak was still there. 
So what I found is there's another joint just behind here and I can reach it without taking the wheel off. I'm gonna squirt some oil in that and see if that makes a difference too. So this one here at the back was the one that I've just put the oil in and I'm now gonna also put it into this one here. Okay, that's good. So that's the other ball joint in front done. Let's see what happens now. There you go. Not bad. Take it for a drive, turn the steering wheel, go over bumps, and the oil will work in nicely into those joints. So I'm all for making light work of things. If I can find a quicker, easier, cheaper way of doing something, I'll do it. And this little hack here seems to work really, really well. And I hope it saves you time, grief and money. Give it a go. You never know, it might just work.